So we currently have 22 fire appliances and a number of specialist vehicles and specialist wildfire teams working on the site. We've been working from 0400 this morning from the get-go in the same way. We've been using the opportunity where we've got low ambient temperatures to be able to make an impact on the uh, on the fire and the, on the perimeter of the fire because we've talked about the perimeter and, and securing that perimeter now. We've been using two helicopters again throughout the course of the day and they've been dropping water at points where it's been requested from, from the incident ground. And we continue to, to work closely with partners, multi-agency debrief, multi briefings sorry, that take place um, every two hours. Uh, I just wanted to shed some light on a really disappointing thing that's taken place today. So we've been made aware of, of two significant um, developments really where we've had um, a barbecue that was placed in sector two on the incident ground and that could have led to an escalation um, in the fire beyond the perimeter line and in addition to that on healing nab in the same place almost where we had a job on sunday where we had to commit um, teams this morning to deal with that incident and again we had to call the helicopter from winter hill to be able to deal with that incident and it's incredibly disappointing on a day where it's been announced that the saddleworth incident is being treated as arson that we have to report that to you again a significant and sustained effort we can't praise our firefighters and everybody that's involved all the multi-agencies and the local community who continue to support us we can't praise everybody enough for their efforts it's significant it's sustained it's arduous and it's challenging and we'd just like to thank everybody and we'll provide a further update in due course.